I've thought about just not voting in this election, just staying home, but you can't do that because that's that's saying you, you don't care who wins, and, and I do care. I think my party made a bad mistake in San Francisco, and I'm going to have to vote against that mistake on the 3rd of November. Vote for President Johnson on November 3rd. The stakes are too high for you to stay home. Joining us now for the interview, I'm very happy to say, is the star of that ad, the actor who really was a Republican <laughs> and really was in crisis over Barry Goldwater's nomination, Bill Bogert. Mr. Bogert, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. You look like the same guy. <laughs> you, have well, this, you still have amazing hair. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, you've held on to your good looks. Are you still working as an actor? Rarely. Rarely. But sometimes. When you got hired for that job, were you a Republican? And were those, yes. were those thoughts in, how close was that, that script to your actual feelings? Uh, identical. Really? Yes, because uh, when they uh, hired me to begin with, they were going to use my name. They were going to put William Bogart under the, on the screen. And I said, well, if you hire me as an actor, I'll say whatever the hell you want me to say. But if you're using my name, then it's got to be stuff that I believe. Mm -hmm. And they were frightened by that. Yeah. And they went off in a corner. And they came back and they said, OK, let's try. So we did. And there was one thing that I wanted changed. And I don't remember what it was. Mm -hmm. But they did make the change. They, so they so, respected that you wanted yeah. to be true to your words there. Yeah. Um, what kind of, has, has this ad sort of followed you through your career? As, as, no, it hasn't. No, uh, you, you're the first one. Really? Yeah, and since you, it's on, I don't know how to use a computer. I'm not a 21st century person. Uh, but it's on the internet, and it's gotten over 20 million. <laughs> I've gotten calls from friends all over the country. Wow. Well, you, I mean, just watching it now, I was watching you watch it in the studio here as I was just playing it. Do you feel like it is a historical piece, or do you feel like it resonates with the Republican Party race or anything else in politics right now? I'm sorry to say I think it does, mm. uh, because I look at the, uh, at the Republican contenders, and I say to myself, this is the cream of the crop? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Do you have um, any of the same, I mean, a lot of people have expressed not just uh, disagreement with Donald Trump, but the kind of worry that you said, talked about with Goldwater in 64 there, worry that he's a fund he would be a fundamentally different kind of person to put that close to the, uh, to the Oval Office. Not just that he's somebody you'd want to vote against, but somebody that made you fear for the country. Yes. Do you have any of those? Is, is I, I that definitely do. Because here, uh, uh, as you know, he's never held any important job of the head of Trump Industries. He's never been an executive, either professionally or uh, politically, or, uh, militarily, nothing. He has no background whatsoever. And the ignorance, which he has demonstrated in so many areas, mm -hmm. is, to me, Terrifying. The, in in uh, that election where that ad was run by the Johnson forces, um, I went back and looked at a lot of other Republican criticism of the Goldwater choice at that time. I was struck by uh, Mitt Romney's father, uh, uh, George Romney, who was the governor, a very influential governor at the time. Yeah. He basically said that the Republican Party would be committing suicide if they nominated Goldwater. Goldwater did go on to get beaten in the general election, but. The Republican Party didn't, you know, self-immolate. It didn't, des didn't destroy itself. It didn't become, I think, a fundamentally different thing. Does that give you any sort of hope that maybe even if they do pick Trump, it'll be all right? I guess so. Uh, uh, I don't know. As I, I don't think I told you this before, but uh, as, as I said in the commercial, I'm brought up a uh, Republican, and I'm still, in fact, a registered Republican, but the last one I voted for was John Lindsay when he <laughs> ran for mayor. And then he changed parties. Uh, and uh, uh, there is no way that I can visualize myself voting for any of the Republicans this year. 
And it is my hope that uh, the Republican Party will, in a sense, regress and become the Republican Party that I grew up with, the party of Jacob Javits and John Lindsay and to a somewhat lesser degree Nelson Rockefeller. And the, those guys I was totally in favor of. These people, uh, they make me very nervous. William Bogert, um, I am very happy that we found you, and I'm very happy that you wanted to come in and talk about this. And you are as compelling making uh, this case today here with me uh, as you were in 64 making that, that ad. Um, That's enormously kind of you. You're, uh, you're, it's, I'm really happy to have you here. Thank you, sir. Thanks. All right, we'll be right back. We got him. Thank you. <laughs>